Hi everyone. I'm going to in this video be providing support on addictions. So this support I will be speaking here will support with in general all addictions. If there's a practical context where it does not apply then obviously don't do it out of common sense. But here generally speaking addictions one way to walk through addictions is developing that stand within yourself to say no and it's developing that point within you where it's so absolute that it's like a mountain a mountain can, that can never be moved now what is interesting is that you can actually play with this and develop this and grow this. For example, think of your addiction, okay? Now, when you have an addiction, the minute you start thinking about it, it's kind of snowballs and you eventually get to the point of actually acting out your addiction, right? So here's a test. When there's a mere thought coming up, you can say no and you look at the thoughts and you hold it within you and you, it's like you're staring it right in the face you know you stare at the thought completely directly and be like naked in front of the thoughts you know you're completely exposed open and vulnerable and you say this is who I am and you could even look at the thought and hold it there for a few minutes or so and you're not moved whatsoever you continue to stand so it's about who you are in the moment the same thing too, um, we can go to the next step. You can actually go to your addiction, you can go to your thing that you're addicted to, look at it right in the face and stand, say no. Now a process I walk for myself is self-forgiveness. And so in those moments where I'm exposing myself to that addicted point, I'm able to take that point, look at who I am in the moment, see the energies involved in my body, the desires, the want, the need, the enjoyment, whatever energy, any movement whatsoever, even if it's negative, even if it's fear or frustration, you take your addiction, look at your energies, take your energy and forgive it. For example, I forgive myself for accepting allowing myself to feel like a need, a want or a desire for this thing. I forgive myself for accepting allowing myself to feel happy, to feel good, to feel joyful, within doing this thing which I'm addicted to. When you speak those words in that moment with that, with his voice here as if saying no, as if saying stop, the very absolute who you are, in that moment when you speak those words within yourself, you're actually moving the energies, you're stopping it, you're pausing it, you're stopping any feeling of enjoyment, of happiness, of expectation, of anticipation, of anything positive towards, you know, that addiction. You're releasing it, you're saying it you're looking at it right in the face and you're saying that, no, I'm not going to feel good. I'm not going to enjoy this. I'm not going to participate within this whatsoever. I'm not going to feel bad from not doing this. I'm not going to anything. So you're basically cutting it off directly at the source. It's like you're staring it right in the face and saying, no, no, no chance, sir. Goodbye. It's like, that's what it is. And that's self-forgiveness. You can keep doing it. Where if you're facing it and it didn't go away right away, you repeat the self-forgiveness. You say new self-forgiveness. You look at for other points. Because in reality, you do not have to move. You do not have to move your physical body, body to participate within the addiction. You can stay here, do the self-forgiveness, and continue at that point And saying no. And standing who you are. And you keep looking for new dimensions because it could be these little thoughts about things about like, that, for example, I forgive myself for accepting allowing myself to think that somehow this will this will complete me, or give me self value, or make my life better, or it's what I need, or it's gonna be relaxing, it's gonna be release. So whatever you see within yourself, that's an excuse, a justification, a thought, a anything which which supports that addiction, you can take that, forgive it, and let it go, and stop in a moment, until you're able. If you're able to do this. You get to a point where you can literally expose yourself to your addiction and not be moved whatsoever. At that point, do you know you're really free? 
that at that point you know you really have choice because you know you have shown to yourself your ability to stand absolutely in who you are in your decision in your direction of yourself and that's showing that to yourself is already a great gift then you know if you ever to participate within addiction it's a choice right then it's no longer addiction it can be something that you create as yourself you know, then it becomes something else completely differently. Then the doors of creativity open. Then the doors of self-expression open. Where you're no longer limited within this one pattern, within this one behavior, within this one way of living. Then you can create things that are new, that are great, that are wonderful. Because you have your stand. You have the decision of who you are. And this is what I walked for myself. So I'm speaking from experience and you can hear my voice, what I've lived, what I've done that I can apply this within myself and it is something so personal with yourself it really doesn't involve anyone else it's about yourself who you are and where you stand and what your decision is it has nothing to do with anyone else it's just you so when you're with when you're this way you're this with yourself it's with yourself you're being let's say tough on yourself you're being direct in yourself you're being what is needed for yourself to direct your life where you're no longer accepting allowing any other point that's influencing or deciding your life for you. You take responsibility for your life. So this is a process I've walked. Thank you for listening. I hope this is supportive. Um, check out self-forgiveness. This is a tool I always use whenever I have any trouble, when I have any point of that within me that I seem like I can't let go or it's compromising who I am. I can use that to let go. So check out the Destiny group, the Destiny I process, the courses, learn how to use self-forgiveness from people who have already done it, practiced it, see the vlogs that are done, see, read the blogs that are written, learn how to do this, learn from others, be supported, ask questions, visit the forum. All the support is there. It just takes you to act. You take the first step. Okay? So thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.